All right, check one. Check, 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 check. All right. All right, we are live with uh, Biff Malibu returning for, what's this, it's time number six, I think? Six or seven. Six or seven, uh, playing Port Marnark Golf Links uh, just outside of Dublin. Designed by Bernard Langer and Stan Ebby. Uh, it's hosted a bunch of PGA Tour events and things like that. So we're going to check it out and see some Lynx golf over in Ireland. So Biff Malibu, I'm going to let you take it away. And don't forget to tell the fans working on my game today. We're definitely working on Biff's game, trying to get some uh, adjustments made to his driver and his wedges. Uh, Oak Hill. That's a good question. With Bay Hill. Oh, I can read this now. There you go. Biff can Biff all can now, driver all the time. Biff can now see the chat while he's playing. Big upgrades. Big upgrade. All right, 363. Got a little shorty. Downhill a little bit. A little bit of wind helping. Okay, so one one of the things we're gonna work on with my driver today, right? Is getting on my left side not falling backwards and coming through on the shot and i did you, not, you definitely got left there i did get left but i don't know i still feel like i was falling back all right out of the gate in the gorse we got a couple new camera setups and angles so let us know how that looks anything weird there Front hip open early. We got a uh, range of tailors also on the case to get Biff squared away. Oh yeah, the straight on cam is good. I like that. Whew, out of the gate. Just a little left though, those uh, pot bunkers. Uh, 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 Just over it, uh, into, the, into the junk. The junk, but I think it doesn't look very penalized. Rather be there than in the bunker. Or where I am. Look at that, you don't even disturb the tee. Just picking it clean. All right, 214, probably not a good idea to hit three wood out of here, right? Well, you if you hit it anywhere short of that green, it should run up, right? We're playing Lynx Golf. Okay. Should be pretty uh, firm and quick and low your your patented low three wood might serve you well here i want to try to hit it correctly though that is correct on this kind of golf course Oof. just stop stop thank you okay all right won't hurt me have, have we even talked about handicap strokes if you're Talk about Numer what? Your handicap. How many pops you are? You're, you should be getting 18. We're working on my game, and I suck. <laughs> well, you're still away. I am still away. There you we'll, go. That's we'll give you. you we'll know. give you one a hole in the front and see how we how we fare by the right. end of that. We're pretty much playing 111, I think. I'm gonna take the pitching wedge out. Where's the flag located on this hole? Do I have any room? Looks like the flag is uh, back center. Not a lot of room. Okay. Long, but I can get it on. Just I'm, I won't go 111, so I just need to get it on the green. Yep. Okay, same kind of principle here. Turn on it. Nice. Got away with one. It's not bad. I feel like these greens oh, are pretty oh. slick. Uh oh. Uh, well, Biff Biff also mangled his hand this morning doing yard work, so. But he's still playing. Still playing. All right, you're up. Out of the deep grass, 92 yards. I like this course so far. <clears throat> Thanks, Osmos, eh? All right, 92 yard back pin out of the deep grass. I feel like I should be able to hit a full 62 without going past the hole. Yeah, caught the caught the deep grass quick there. Alright, let's 
get up and down for far here. All right, 46 yards. That chipping lesson. Okay, so the longer the chip, you kind of start opening up your feet a little bit, I noticed. Yeah, so we were going over this before we got went live here, but I'm showing Biff a little bit of, you know, if I'm hitting a small chip shot, a pitch shot inside of 30 yards, my feet are basically together, all my weight's forward, ball's back if I want to hit it low, ball's forward if I want to hit it high. I gotta give you a mulligan there, because I uh, waved on my... took your shot. Okay, hey, here's the uh, first chip with the new left foot. 36 feet, I am off the green, so I do want to chip it. I'm gonna go with the 60 like you told me. Yeah, so this is 10 yards. Okay, so it's just a nice, make good contact. Yeah, wait, wait forward. Wait forward. Oh, look at that, paying dividend First right out of try. the gate. All right, so that's a half right there, I believe. You're gonna... Mm. So you had four at five? Yep. All right, I'll take that. Do we know what the series standing is? I think it's three to two, or if it's been five. We should have been tracking that in an Excel spreadsheet a long time ago. Yeah. It might, like, might, might be time to start. I keep meaning to and getting yeah, a nice- got ways for people to gamble at home. Working on creating a nice overlay for the stream so people can see what the match stands as we go along. All right, we got a 350 yarder. I need to move this aim a little bit. To the Port left. Marnock. Port Marnock. Is that a city? Is that a? That's just the that name, name of the golf club. I believe we're just outside of Dublin, but anyone with Google can double check me on that one. Have not been here in real life. Wind helping. This that is cold. Just get past the big tree. Yeah. All right, you know what? The, it doesn't seem to be like a lot of bush in there. It leaves you an open shot. And that new driver. How's everybody else's weekend going so far? Ask anybody if they know what's going on with the tour. Tour event. Move the ball up a little in your stance, maybe. All right. Okay, who's uh, Ranger Taylor? Ranger Taylor is uh, my friend Evan out in Massachusetts. Okay. Highly qualified to be giving golf advice. I like it. Look at this. In okay. the middle, not very long, but in the middle. Not gonna hurt you, dead middle, 200 yards. Up. Yeah. 43. 43. Just a tiny bit uphill. The wind's helping. Pin is dead center. Looks solid. Catch a piece. Tracking onto the green. All right. He's putting. We're going to see our first actual putt of the day. All right. Out of the deep stuff again for me. 66 yards. Wind is helping. I'm, I'm going to the medical tent and in between shots. Got to redo the bandages. I'm going to try. I don't think it's going to work very long, but. All right, 60. Yeah, this deep rough is significant. Gonna have to stop going in it, I think is the plan. Oh, advantage, Malibu. Yep, gotta get up and down here. Am I playing the blue teeth? Yes. 
slightly shorter. Hasn't been a big difference on the first two holes. Look at the chipping. Yeah, the chipping, chipping's working. It's okay. 10 right. foot gimme range. Okay, out of the medical tent. They gave me a shot when I was in there. Kill the pain. First putt. Pretty much flat putt. A little bit of break at the end, that's it. 29 feet. Mm, pulled it left and jammed it. Just oh. outside oh. of gimme range. He has to make an actual putt to win the hole. No, no gimme win for Biff Malibu. Yeah. Flat putt. Hold it again. Yep. I might be putting again. No, you got that one. So that's another half. Brutal. Good opportunity squandered right there. Squandered. We did not do any practice putts before the round, so. I have bigger problems. Blame it on that. Good place to be today. Looks like a par three. Probably don't need this drive. Considering it's what, 107 uh, in our neighborhood? A little warm. It's a dry heat though. All right, 184, wind's hurting. Try to hit a little low six iron. Low, Definitely but low. a little. Oh, it might run up. A little thin. Lynx style golf, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Nothing to slow that thing down. <laughs> that was pretty close what I was trying to do. I don't know if I can consider that getting away with murder. Oh, the first shank of the day. Might be ever. <laughs> Looks at the hand. Is that a garden oh. wound result or is that I'm just a... No, it's, I'm in the junk 112. That was oh, ugly. All right, your first chance to hit it out of the, the deep grass. So my only advice is give it about 30, 40 yards more because it, it okay. knocks the ball down real quick. If I don't shank it again, you mean? It's just awful. <laughs> Additional to look at the ball when swinging. Awful. All right, much better contact there. I oh. just gotta get out. I didn't pick enough club. All right, you got some work to do. Else, I'm feeling like we may have our first uh, winning hole for me. Just brutal. All right, 35 yards out of the deep grass. You got a lot of green to work with, so if you can drop it on at all, I think it's gonna roll to the pin. Okay, but it plays another, like it's gonna play like 60, right? Well, I'm hitting at 40, 45 here. Okay. But that's me, I hit it too good and it's not, not stopping. Not too bad. No doubt. Yeah, you're, you're makeable putt. I still have to get up and down here. I hit that a little fat though. Oh, I'm good. All right, so what do we got here? Am I on the green? I am on the fairway, just off the green. 
48 feet downhill, breaking a little right to left. I'm going to chip this. It's a little bump onto the green. Hit it about 10 yards, let it roll down the rest of the way. Oh, it stopped. Wow, that stopped real quick. Nice though. Still a good chip. Inside of 10 feet, that's all we're going for. Yeah. Uh, this is to have the hole Come on. to stay even. Come on. Keep pushing your putt, pulling your putts, because that's what I've been doing. Yeah, it's pulled. It's like about as bad as I can be. It just took, it took mercy on me and it didn't make me putt again. I think you just got to adjust your aim on the putts out to the right a little bit. Yeah, you actually did that it, time. I, I think you're it. aiming for the middle of this when straight is actually like out here. Okay. because so All you need to be looking at is just the right. first first foot, foot and a half. Okay. Okay. Overdoing it. Now you... Hank Haney is in the chat giving you advice, so. Listen, listen to Hank. Listen to the man. First par five? Yeah, 540 yarder. See Link if I can. Being relatively uh, benign. Yeah. Lynx golf in Ireland. Yeah, trying to not go left like the last couple, and I blocked it. I'm oh, get, get in the, the driving windows. range. Is that the driving range over there? Like another hole. Am I even inbounds? Okay. Playable. 179 feet in the air. I, I yeah, that was a pop-up lock garbage swing. Three. Blow everything down a little bit. Some good impact. Oh, that's well struck. You just missed it. We are, uh, <laughs> haven't seen a lot of fairways. Oh, this is how it really is here. Probably, I don't know if I want to hit, I just... Now uh, you're aimed right down the middle of the fairway. You got plenty of room. Hit basically whatever you want. So Biff and I played some real golf yesterday up in Ventura County, California. My course cooler. called River Ridge. Made four birdie or three birdies and zero dollars. Biff won some money. Biff made one par, ninety-four dollars. <laughs> Go figure. Come on, gotta get out of there. Now this is some penalizing rough here. That caught clean and it's gonna stay in it again. You gotta get it left. Aim me left. Left, lad. Go left. Aim me left. All right. I think I'm finally uh, away. Yeah. All right. I am somewhere on the rest of the other side of the planet The right here. side is showing you where you're aiming, right? Yeah. So Same. the right is showing that I'm aiming back to the middle of the fairway, whereas the hole is here. The problem is to get over all of this stuff, I got to hit it 230 and I'm in the deep grass. So I'm going to aim it just left of that bunker. Give myself plenty of fairway to hit. And it says 170 is the max. I'm gonna hit a five iron. Doesn't look like I'm in a lot of grass here, but. It hasn't been, uh, we haven't been able to hit out of that stuff at all today. 
can't get it up in the air out of this. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'm just just past yours. Oh, well, 92. Okay. Whatever you do, aim me left. I don't want yep. you to stay in the entire hole. Alright, you are aiming all the way left. If you hit this 10 yards, you will get out of the junk. If you hit it 150 yards, you'll get in the bar. <laughs> right up against the wall. This is going to be interesting. All right, we're tearing this one up. All right, 166, out of the deep rough. But the funny thing is, though, it just looks like you're sitting on pine needles or something. I mean, well, yeah, it looks like I don't know why it's spot. grabbing your club so much. Simulating the actual conditions, because I'm sure if you actually were standing here, there. you'd be in trouble. Right now, if we were there, we'd probably be in a pub. True. All right, 166, hitting a five iron again. Okay, that one you That's caught. That's much better contact. You get me out. onto the fairway. Perfect. All Good right. Ball. I, can, I can get up and down from there like I have every other hole today. Okay, what am I... Uh, I don't even know what to do. Take well... 60 and, I mean, it's going to know that I can't go straight, right? That's a good, I mean, you're 80 yards. You, you're definitely up against the lip, but it, I can aim you. I just wonder if I can. Over here to get you out. I mean, can, if, does it go. know if I open the face up? Yeah, of course. I and mean, that's what I'm trying, that's what I have to do, right? Yeah, so you, but you gotta tell me where you wanna aim. I've got you aim like. At, at the stick, probably. Well, at there. the flag? No, 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 the, whatever it was, yeah, there, right there. Okay. And it, is it going to let me stand in there like that? Yeah, it's going to it's going to assume you can stand. So you you just got to hit this like twenty yards. Yeah. All right. You hit two, two. I hit it forty. Yeah. See my new chipping game. If I used my old chipping game, it wouldn't have gone that far. Okay. But now what am I? Seventy. Yep. But I'm in the shit, right? So I need to. A lot of green to work with. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm hitting a 90 yard wedge here is what I would recommend. Okay. Well, you got your money's worth on this hole. Yeah. It's almost like uh, nine at Rancho last week. And pan in 11. All right, 36 yards, up a foot, almost two feet. A lot of green to work with. Just bump this guy up there. Oh, it didn't quite get enough of it. Just didn't release. All right, you're up. Okay. All right, let's... The new chipping. I want this one to run a little bit, right? Get it on the green, let it run downhill. Hey, Zytor, thanks for the follow. Yeah, so you're yeah, 80 feet, up two, up two feet. And you can fly it most of the way, I think, and stop it. Yeah. Oh, got... the new chipping lesson. Yeah, huh? I know. Oh. Taught him how to chip right before we get on, so now he's gonna give me the five minute you. fix. That was a great seven. <laughs> I've seen worse sevens. All right, so this is for my par. If I make it, I don't believe I'm it's winning not the fairway at all, did I? All right, see what the there was. There was not a lot of fairway seen there except for that chip. All right, 26 feet. Oh, break left. All right, so that's another half, I believe. Did you get six? I got a six, yeah. Took wow. me three shots to get out of the junk. All right. Is it probably you, right? I think so. All right, I'm gonna 
really try to find the fairway this time because I'm getting a little tired of the... And uh, we have to tell everybody at home, uh, you're without your three wood, right? Uh, it, do you have a backup one? I do, and the existing one is still in the bag, but the hosel is a little busted. And Just Brian ripping at the ball yesterday, snapped it. The neck kind of slides around when I swing and it's not, not ideal. All right, we got water all down the right. I've missed drives left and right today, so this is not making me nervous at all. Uh, is it leaking? It's leaking a little, but it's not going to get to the whoa. Ooh, uh, it's not going to get to the water. water. It's not not good, but it's not terrible. God, just no fairways today for the team. I just gotta get through the. Darn ball. Four hundred and fifty yard par four. This is one of the hardest holes on the front nine. If you couldn't tell by the narrow fairway, the long distance and the water all down the right. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna get saved by the little inlet there, the rough. Jeez. I just wanna show everybody the uh, wonderful landscape in Ireland. Fairway's boring, you know? All right, you tell me where you wanna aim. Obviously left. Yeah, I wanna get out of this stuff. So I get okay, this, this is- Hit this how far last time out of this stuff? Like 120-ish? No, I hit it further than that. Remember, I ended up in the bunker. Well, the, yeah, you're right. Was, right. I, I right there, I think, is pretty much the middle, but you do have to hit it. Give me the 120th. All right. The 120 to 140 area. Yeah, that, that's it right there. Oh, didn't quite get it. That's a good question. I don't know if I've seen any German courses. We've got about 100 courses all over the world. We've played in Korea. We've played in... Uh, Kuala Lumpur, we played in Ireland, Scotland, the U.S. I'll have to double check the list. Australia? Australia. Or was that New Zealand or Australia? Australia, yeah. All right, I got to get out of this junk myself. I'm going to aim at this bunker. Well, where's the hole? The hole's there. Left edge of the fairway. All right, I just gotta get it over this tree that I see in front of me. Yeah, just enough to get into the into the fairway. Just now a little bit. 175, but I'm still in the junk. I'm gonna hit this thing one more time. Schloss. You know what? I need to get over those trees, don't I? That's enough. Right? What's that? I gotta get over those trees. Yeah, so let me aim you a little left. Just to give you a little more room. All right, you're safe. What part of Germany are those courses in? Shot from the fairway. I don't even know how to handle it. Look, look so. how high you hit that ball out of the fairway. That's nice. Eight feet? What's that for? I don't know. <laughs> don't even know. <laughs> That's for a, you just hit your fifth shot. That's for six. All right, where am I? I'm hitting my third, 91 yards. 
Hen is all the way on the right, wind is left to right. So I'm gonna start this one out to the just left the hole, a little more to the center of the green. You're hitting three, right? I'm so hitting my have, third. You have two. Two shots to win the hole, yep. three to tie. I'm just gonna try to hit a 56 degree, about a 80% swing. Right at it. Right at it. Oof. Oh, it stopped too quick. All right, gotta make. Gotta make a putt to win. <clears throat> I got 12 feet, dead straight. I mean, no elevation change, no break. Does not get too much easier than this. A little wind though. <laughs> I think the wind's gonna affect the ball. Right? Yeah. Oh, drains it. Oh, All right. Jeff. All right, where do we stand now? That's huh? the first one hole of the day. I'm up one. All right. Took a while, but we broke the tie. Sticking with the driver here, I'm gonna hit one in the fairway. Okay, but there's, I, this is, that's up perfectly for you. All right, we got a little left to right dog leg, 500 yard par five. Now the wind's going right to the left on us. We're going the other way. All right, straight. Nope, hold it, wind's going left. Gosh. There is your premium on this track. I mean, I'm hitting the middle of the club face, but I'm so ahead of my no, I'm lower afraid, body's ahead I'm of still the hands. Come on. The bullet. Wow, what do you know? Dinger, look at this. This is gonna run for a while. Fairway. It's a fairway, 210 with drive. Dead straight. That's Wheaties right there. Well, look, I'll, I'll trade your fairway for my uh, deep rough. Okay, is there anything between me and the, uh, any trouble I need to? So the hole is 270, middle of the fairway get, is about there. Give me 200. 200? Yeah, right about Something there. Something like that, yep. And if I go a little long or a, a little, little long short, I'm okay. You got one pot bunker short left. That's the only thing you got to worry about. Uh, Dang, I pushed it, push, Shank. Right, can't get out of can't deep cut. Of, that stuff just does not give the ball back. It does not cooperate. All right, 240 to the hole. Center of the fairway there is 170. I'm just gonna try to hit, hit this up as far as I can. Like I got plenty of room. Below bolt. Get out of there. Oh, oh. ouch. The, that's the only thing I was worried about. And I said, I can't hit that short bunker if I hit a, a two iron. Oh, it just sucked it in there like it was a vacuum. I mean, we're going to have to start taking our medicine and hitting wedges out of the rough just to get back and play. All maybe right. That, maybe that's what this wants you to do. Out of curiosity, I'm going to hit a 60 degree wedge straight and see what happens. Great, and see if I get over this 
lip or not. Perfect comes back and hits you in the grill. Just in time for the uh, metal prob song to play. Nope, <laughs> right off it, the face. Right off the face. Now I'm up against the back of it. All right, so this is a uh, lesson learned. Lesson learned. It's it's punishing you the way that you would actually be punished here. So now, assuming I can hit this ball, I've got more room to hit this out. I'm going to hit a pitching wedge. That was well struck. Yeah, I just trying to dig it out of that bunker. Oh, that was a waste of a couple shots right there. Okay, so probably I, I'm thinking I need to get it back and play, right? It hasn't done very well for me. Uh, yeah, so you my rescue, but aim me left. Yes. All right, so where your aim now gives you the most fairway if you want to go a little more right towards the hole i mean if you give me something maybe it goes 120 yeah right right there is again if you hit this more than 30 yards it's all fairway oh and he shanked it shanks it out to the right we've we've gotten some Major improvements on the drivers and the wedges, but the rest of the club seems no, to be. The driver hasn't done anything hardly. Well, it's not hit fairway. You did on this hole. Or was it the last one? You hit the last you one. You hit a this bullet one. down the middle. All right, that one is going to run all the way up just short of the green. Okay, you're still up there, right? Yeah. Working on keeping my weight on my left side. My downfall in all parts of my game has been I, I fall back. I've got an old man swing. I fall back as I'm coming through the ball. All right, so I, this is for par right here from 63 yards. I'm gonna put it just a little right of the hole. The wind take it back. I didn't start it far enough right, but that's a good distance. Oh, look at this. Useful shot, lad. That's All right, that's a, that's a bogey. Oh, it is? That's a six. Yeah, that was my fifth shot. Oh. All right, in for a six. So I need to get up and down. Yeah, you're hitting, this is for par right here. So you have two shots from here to win the hole. Carefully choosing this club. I'm going with the new lesson. 60 degree, 50. What do you got, 58? Well, 56, but I got 60. I like the way you hit the 60. It seems to work well. All right, he's going with the 60 degree wedge. The new lap. You can put this inside of 10 feet, walk away with an easy win. Outside of 10 feet, he's going to make a putt. A little uphill, right? Yeah. Foot uphill. Oh, he crushed it! What the hell was that? That was the hardest swing I've seen you take with a wedge in my life. Try that again. I'm further away now than I was. <laughs> Doesn't really... All right, he's got to make a putt now. <laughs> this, everybody, is for, everybody. this is for a half. He went from being in A1 position, now having to make a 14 and a half footer for a half. Downhill, Downhill. it's going to be quick. This is, all right, so let's see if I can get this aiming thing figured out. Hold it. Go a little left. Hold it, and I'm going to see more of it. Oh, 
Putting always a challenge here on the uh, for me it is Gulf Stream. You seem to have it. I pull everything. Yeah, I gotta gotta work on that. I feel like that right hand is just so loose that it's, or it's the opposite where it's pushing the club through to the left. It's hard to say. All right. That's trying to hit a fairway. Yeah, I'm still working on that. All right, this looks like it's got to be a long par four because we already had a couple of par fives. Maybe it's this ball. You know what? I'm going to swap this out for a different one. We had a little bit of that yesterday for the first five holes. I feel like I had a defective golf ball yesterday. I had a couple weird ones. I like these stone T markers they have up on the tees. Wow, that is blocked again. It's just gonna miss. Get in the bunker. Oh! Get away from the lip! <laughs> the middle of that bunker would have been fine, but that is not. Oh, man. Hey, I'm gonna try driver again. As long as it's four... There are no short par fours out here, are there? Doesn't seem like it. This is a, uh, it's not the longest golf course in the world, but I think it's the par fives and the par threes that are short. The fours have been brutally long. Brutally long. All right, let's just get a ball and play here. Well, I guess that? if you hit fairways, I bet you get some good distance on the rollout. <laughs> Might be the best drive I've hit in months. Wow. I mean, we can that swing. How'd oh, you get a fairway? I did. All right. 220. You got a little bit of a... Uh, oh, there's a, uh, there's a creek. creek. John Vandeval. The creek at 183, and you got front of the green is about 220. Okay, You're, so, but uh, just to clear the creek, 180. That's yeah. all I have to do. Yes. Okay. This is a. If people at home are betting, they should be betting right now if I'll clear the creek. It's well struck. Two good shots. Oh! Skip! Oh! Down the creek! Exactly. Wow. I thought I didn't you bailed me out there for a second. It looked like it was going to go to the right of the, the creek. I didn't know it, was, it ended over there. I'm going out sideways here. And this is this is not good for me. Uh, I couldn't even hit three with 180. That's disgusting. Yeah, I got to hit it like right, right here sideways. Pop it out. 20 yard flop out of the bunker. No I hit action. It. Oh, it didn't catch. It. Didn't pick it up. Had my uh, shadow of my head over the sensor there. Let's try this again. Wait forward, club open. There we go. There it is. Good shot. A little long. Wow. That's all right. Gave myself room. Should be 160 something. 62. Wind is right to left. Uphill. All right, I'm going to try to hit hard eight iron. Out to the right, just a little bit. That looks good. I popped it up a little bit. Oh, that looked good. Oh, go. Wow. Yeah. All right, so what are you aiming for? 
Uh, flying three. three. One, two, three. Yep. One okay. in the bunker, two out, three out of the green. Okay. See if you learned anything with that wedge left earlier today. Oh, it picked up a. Wait, what's that? Oh, what the. What is what's happening right now? I was just putting the ball down. You just hit the best shot of your life ever. Two forty-three. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. Oh wow! Look at this! Stop! Stop! It's, stop! It's kind of you're good. You're good. You got eight inches to play with there. All right. So you're in, in for a five. I gotta make this for a half. All right, twenty-one feet, pretty straight uphill. Put a little extra on this one. Just out to the right. All right, so you won that hole. I am up one, I believe. I thought you were up one. I was up two. I won two in a row. Okay. Or we can double check. What hole are we on? Eight, right? I think so. Oh, this thing looks nice. Eighth hole. Let's check the scorecard real quick. All right, so there's a half. There's a half. I'm up one. I'm up two. I'm up two. I'm up three. Three. I'm up two. Is that right? Yeah. Half, half, one, two, three. Yep, I'm up two. Oh no. 300 yards. And there, is it aiming us over the top of that? No, it aimed me over here. But I'm looking at this saying, I can't. I, can't hit a fairway to save my life. I'm gonna, yeah, it's into the wind too though. This is not the high percentage play. But up two holes, I might as well go for it, you know? Oh, that's the best one I've hit today. The wind's probably going to hold it up, though. Yeah. Just... Go, get down there. God. Okay. How far to get to the fairway? 280. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, fairway is 160 to 230. All right. Wait, what happened to the wind hold? I need to win a hole. Oh, that was like a confident strike right there. I'm gonna win a hole. Yeah, right. Three, a little bit of uh, wind in my face, a little bit of room on the front of the green if I can roll it out. Let's hit this thing tight. Let's hit this thing tight. I pull a little. Not too bad, just off, gonna roll onto the green. It's just getting better and better wow. and better. Wow. Oh. On and two? Don't tell anybody. 
All right, I'm in the junk, but I'm only 62 yards out. Uphill five feet, straight into the wind. All right, I should be able to hit this pretty hard. Kind of a full swing, I think maybe an 80 yard swing. Stay on the green. Long putt just to put any kind of pressure on Biff at all. Wow, look at that thing. All right, 41 feet uphill over a foot. But then it comes down, right? Big break, yeah. Overall, it's a foot up, but I'm going up, up the hill to the left and down to the right. Hit this kind of like a 50 footer. Let's break, break. Oh, uh, just a little, little solid. Good I hit it, hit it 50 feet. Yeah. All right, so that's par. That means you have a chance at birdie. This, two? Uh, this would be the first one I've ever had on the machine, and it couldn't be an easier putt. I mean, eight inches downhill, straight downhill. So I'm going to give you some advice. Don't crush this past the hole. I'm going to try not to get it to the hole. Oh, and he, I pushed he, it out to the right. Compensating for the left misses, keeps it inside of 10 feet. Good par, wins the hole. All right, so I'm up one now, going into the ninth hole. You or me? I think it's going to still be me. R3? R3. Back left pin. Looks like it'll feed back there. If you hit the center of the green, yeah. it looks like it's going to feed back to the hole. 180. Perfectly flat. Kind of right between clubs. I'm going to hit a 7 iron. I think if I can hit this well and it hits the middle of the green, it should feed back to the hole rather than trying to hit a six iron and taking some off. Oh, it's out to the right a little bit. Yeah, that's not the line. Advantage Malibu if he can just hit the green. Distance was good, but hey, I so just... You were like 170-ish? Let's see how far it moves me up. 165, all right. Wind's in my, a little bit left to, okay, a little downhill. Let's see if this. Hmm. I didn't see that left to right wind isn't strong as. Let's see if I can, if I can hit a high draw. Oh, he's calling, calling the draw. draw. I'm just calling it. Doesn't mean I'm gonna do it. Dauber dad checking in. How's the soccer dad? How is uh how's life in Dauberville? Oh, and it goes the opposite direction. Just, oh no, rock. Just beating guys who finish Eagle Eagle in your match. Do you hear about Dauber's match? No. So he played last Saturday and he was up three going into 16 at Rancho. Yeah. His guy made a par on 16 to win 16 and then eagled 17 and 18 to, ha to tie the match up. They went in extra holes and Dauber ended up winning. But his guy finished eagle eagle to tie. Jesus. At Rancho. Wow. Just, just taking down the scratch golfers. Well, I uh, am relieved at the fact that you will not have to take me down. With a 60 foot putt on 18, jeez. So Dauber, you're uh, 
infamous four ball partner, Mr. Steve Cooper, is going to come on this show next Thursday. Mr. I don't play during the weekend? That's right. You're going to have him over here on a weekend? No, on Thursday. Oh, all right. We might have to have Dauber be the uh, remote commentator for that one. You might have to have me be the remote commentator. I think Dauber's got more dirt on Cooper than you do. I'm just guessing though. 43 feet. But he probably has some tennis match he's got to do. Oh, look at that. Go in. Oh! You have the, the infamous Cooper rule at Rancho Park that was instituted because of me. Uh, well, let's uh, tell the audience what the Cooper rule is. Actually, after we finish this whole, we're gonna take a break and then we'll come back. Come back and we'll with leave Cooper everybody rule. in suspense. All right, so you've got to make this putt to win the hole. And then, and that would be even. And we would be even going, going into the, into back. the back nine. All right, come on, hit a putt. Three right, we could have both of you guys commentate. That is possible. We have the technology to do that. Let's get the entire Rancho Park men's club in a big Zoom call. All right, so that's a half. One down, going into One the down, going turn. One down, going back nine. All right, we're going to take a quick 60-second break. We'll be right back. We are back up. All right, Daubers, yes, you, you can do it from literally anywhere in the world with an internet connection. That is the- And video. And video. That is the world we are living in 2020. Dauber could be running up and down a soccer field. He could do it from his phone if he wanted to. Dauber, any, uh, any exciting rules and fractions that you've been involved in lately and with the SCJ? I noticed they've got some tournaments going on. Did you happen to go down to see the, uh, the amp? Uh, we're going at 5 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday. Oh, push. It's blocked out to the right. Oh, get in that other fairway. Come on. Hurry hard. Right in the middle of nope. Oh, big hop. Not uh, gonna do it. I am uh, not on with the driver today. You were yesterday though. Yeah. Out to the right a little bit. A lot. Just catch a corner. Oh, that is. Oh, no. You're most lucky. So, what's the Steve Cooper rule? Oh, we, well, we're, it actually is not. It wasn't instituted because of him. Well, it was at Rancho, but it started when I was the tournament chairman at Brookside. I found it extremely difficult to get people to schedule their matches. So, I instituted three simple rules uh, 140. Let's take yeah. two extra, right? Three yep. extra? Yep. 170 is my uh, recommendation. 
And always the problem was people couldn't agree weekend or weekday. Right. So I instituted three rules. The first one was if you can't agree to play during the weekend or the weekday, you play on the weekend. Because more people are available to play when they're not working. The second rule was um, whoever had the tea time closest to nine o'clock. And right. the third one was the order of the courses. At Brookside, it was course number one was first preference, course number two was second preference. Because some guys, believe it or not, liked to play two because it was shorter. Sure. So at Rancho, well struck. Yeah, I caught the. So at Rancho, we started having the same problem. And when Todd Wade was the tournament chairman, he would not institute any rules at all. And I believe it was because of Cooper and Dauber, somebody, they almost, yeah, it was Cooper Dauber and what's his name, left the club. Got in a, almost got in a fight with him, or he did get in a fight with him, verbal fight. And I can't remember his name right now, but I actually thought he was a good guy, but I know Dauber didn't think that because of the incident. Who, now I'm trying to remember who this was. Uh, he was a movie guy. He worked on, uh, with what's the name, Michael Endler. Him and Endler worked on like, uh, What's uh, Don Ray Donovan? Anyway, he left the club um, after the incident, but right after that, uh, it became obvious that because there was no rules to to uh, determine right, oh, priority, even better. Yeah. Th okay, so there was no rule to say, "Hey, this is how you break it down if you can't agree how to play." Right. So they put my rules basically in effect. So this Deller, Greg Dellerson. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Dauber can confirm this, but their thing got so stupid that I think they played separate matches at one point. They weren't even playing day. They went out and played or something and individuals. Dauber, fill us in on that. I can tell the story. I, I'm now remembering. And it was like, I was like, wait, what? And I was the rules chairman back then. I think I was like, you did what? I think they asked if they could play separately. Yeah, but I don't know that they... Todd Wade said no, but I know they tried. They did something that was like, wait, what? I, I do now remember hearing the story firsthand from Dauber and Dellerson. Yeah, we'll, we'll have Dauber recap that story when Steve Cooper is here. Yeah. We'll have Dauber remote in and fill us in. I'm sure Cooper has his own version of, version of the event. Yeah. Every, all, all four people involved in it all had a different version of what happened. I remember that because I had to talk to all of them. All right, 40 yards. And it was the Cooper rule because Dauber said he would have played yes. um, on the weekend. It, it was Cooper that wouldn't do it. Oh, get down. Oof. That even clipped the I got grass, Brian man. all pumped up. Ah. So now we might have to have a Langsbard rule where uh, players can wear headphones during their match so that people can't upset them. Is, is that a Langsbard? Well, isn't that what happened with him and Harry? Oh, well, yes. Yeah, they, they, you're they saying he would have been better. better going on? Harry got up, got in his head a little bit. Yeah, a little, just a little. Not that that's easy to do with Adam, but rumor has it that's what happened. Oh, oh, oh! Sit down. Right. Strong. Must have been the Wendy's you had before. Hey, is that? Can I get uh, to show you the principal line? sponsor? Uh, they're, they're they're they're. We have to talks? hit them up on Twitter and see what they say. Was Dauber filling in any of the? Uh, so oh, that's right. It was, it was it was Dellerson and Weber were the partners. Yes. Weber. And I feel like the uh, the assessment amongst the club was that Weber and Dauber were the sort of passive participants in the Cooper Dellerson fight. Well, the but aggressive I, ones. But Dauber got a little more aggressive towards Dellerson at the end, I, I believe. Yes, I think you have that correct. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's just, it's just that easy. Downtown. downtown. Dauber is confirming that he was definitely not past it. So we'll, we'll get the whole story next week when Cooper is here. Oh, that's going to take nine holes for sure. 
All right, what do I have to do here? Uh, you are putting four par, which if you make it, you win. And if you two putt, you have the hole. And if you hit it 14 feet past and then You're big miss trouble. It. All right, a little bit uphill, right? Well, you're inside a 10, so that's a half. Gosh. All right, well, that's a, that's a good putt for me. So what other great stories do we yeah. have from, you know, there's plenty of them. Dauber's telling us some stories that are responding to a question you asked earlier. Oh, I, gotta, I have to put my glasses down and read this from back here. Taco is definitely not passive. I'm not passive. Oh, yeah, okay, rules. Last year at the Bel Air for the U.S. Mid-Am, I was the rules official for the group, including Joey is a great guy, happy he won. But was there any rules? Was there any rules things going on? Anything you had to rule on? He was just there as a passive spectator slash fan. Not aggressive. Oh, look at this. 150, this is a short par three. And you, oh, where is that cool. going? Wow. There's a little bit of wind, but that's a that's a nine iron that went 170 yards. Are we playing at elevation or something? I, I assume this would have been sea level. 147. Downhill. A little bit of wind. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, almost our hole in first hole in one on the golf stream. Okay, so well, good hole. I can't even hole out in half. This is it's already over. All right, 60 feet. Let's see if I can. Save. Please make it interesting. Oh, he does. Look at this. Go in. <laughs> nice. Oh, all right. Good hole. First birdie First of the day. First birdie of, uh, I think, since I've, I don't think I've had one yet. Oh, I feel like you had to have made at least one by now. You, this is definitely your tee box, sir. Right. Nice hole. A lot of character in this golf course. I left it out. My normal thing helped me win. Just get down. Ah! All right, so we're at 427. Little wind off the right. That's in. Uh, wow, well, oh, wind's going wind the off way. the right yet. Have you? Uh, Are you talking about those big stones on the left side there? Yeah, the, it's the yardage marker or the tee box markers. Let's see, if those were in LA, they'd be graffitied by now. Oh, Griffith Park has them. That's right down the park. Hey, hey this might be my first fairway. If it kicks to the left a little bit? It should. Yeah. yeah. What is that. this like? 92. What is this like? Big dog. All right. Well, I'm sure I'm hitting out of the junk again. All out right. of the junk yeah. again. Aim me a little bit left so that I don't end up back in the junk. Please, sir. Where's our match at? Do you know? Oh, yeah, daddy. Where do you want to be aimed here? Just anywhere like 120 One. gets me out of trouble. 
Ready? Yeah, there you go. And I go, oh, stop. No. Why? Why? Why, why, why? Hold on, Dauber. Just focused on trying to get out of the junk here. You helping me? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's all right. You're out. I think I'm still up. So what's that? Three. I like the new sound effect. Yeah. All right, so Dauber, player A is a match against player B. A is on time, but B doesn't show up until about 10 minutes after the tea time and catches up to A where they then play the rest of the holes. Question, ruling on that. I know what the ruling is, Bo. See if former rules chair, Biff Malibu. So ma people have a match scheduled, individual match. Player B shows up roughly 10 minutes late. Plays the first Jimmy. hole and catches up to the group on the second hole. Okay. What What's the ruling? Well, he lost the first hole. Is that what you're... Is that the ruling? He's just one down and he, yep. everything is normal? Yep. I'm saying the player B is disqualified from missing their tee time. Nope. You can show up. Me? Yeah. Malibu. All right, so Dauber, what what says you? What does the Uber rules chairman say? Yes, that is because I know what he ruled. Dauber ruled that he was disqualified. I feel like the wind is a lot more uh, significant I, than the, I, the mileage would let you believe. But I didn't actually on that shot. I didn't even look at it. Right, but you're, I mean, just how much right to left that moved compared to you know mine. I'm still up, right? My ruling was that player B being more than five minutes late. I assume the next thing he's saying is is disqualified. So either way, like, you know, your initial instinct is obviously, obviously player B loses the first hole for literally not being there. They can't go play it, come up to the guys and say, hey, I made a four. Yeah. Right. So Greg Pausch, who was playing against Lee, made the, it was his tee time, showed up late, played the first hole with, you know, by himself or whatever, came up to Lee and said, oh, I, I made a four and Lee's like, I made a five and Greg's like, oh, I won the hole. And Lee is like, I don't think that's how that works. D, the the official rule is DQ after five minutes. So I I know that for all right, twenty seven feet downhill. Oh, all right. I'm in for a par. What'd you make there? Sure. All right, we're gonna check the scorecard. Where were we going in nine? I was up one. Yep. All right, so uh, even after 10, right? I'm down one after 11. It's even again after 12. All right, back to even. Just a 600 yard par five here. Even if the rule was not that you're disqualified for being, you know, 
more than five minutes late, I think he should be disqualified for thinking that he somehow could have won the first hole that is by playing really it by stupid. himself. But then if he got that from Dauber and uh, Cooper, it might have happened there. And I was like, hey, wait, I heard they did this once. All right, sit down. Found a fairway. All right, I need to find a fairway. Seriously, who who should, rolls up some you know 15, 20 minutes late their time, plays holes without the guy they're playing against, catches up and goes, oh yeah, hey, I won those first two holes because I made birdies that you didn't see. Wait, did this happen like when Thor was the president? It happened last week. Oh my God, does Thor know this? Yeah. Because I would think that he would get like a call out in an email or something to the whole club. No. All right. Oh, that is. Ooh, that, that is, is going to be penalizing shot. right there. Yeah. Short Blue will in the be junk. taking his medicine. So aim me like to the Well, you have, a, you have a whole other fairway over here you can use. On that side? On, the, on that side, you've got. Yeah, over just here. get me back into my own. I'm just going to pack this thing out. All right, but I'm just saying, you got to go. Hard to see from here how many yards you have to go just to get to. I just want to go dead right or left or whatever. Yeah, something like that's like a hundred yards. I, I don't want to go over the bunkers though. So okay. Just, yeah, that's fifty yards. Oh yeah, daddy. <laughs> That one plays on the speakers for some reason, but the other one play through the 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 other one that we made. I can't hear this one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm I'm not hearing the the yeah daddy one, just the oh yeah daddy one. I don't know if you guys can hear that at home. All right, uh, you're still up. Thank you. 372. Did not know it was me. Well, they're still trying to pull up that rule. So I can't believe I blew that. Still up. Nope, this is me. Two thirty. Why is that going over there? I thought I hit that dead straight. That's not good. Not good. All right, you are up. One seventy three. Thanks, Dauber. Catch you next week. He's out. Tell him I said goodbye. Little crosswind, nothing crazy. All right, All right 173 from the fairway. Let's see if we can get an iron shot. 
Oh, I chunked it. Oh, big time. Yeah. Just a huge chunk. I don't know what happened with mine. I just sliced it into the junk. All right, 10 mile an hour wind coming at me. 113, leave it out there. Wow, I didn't hear it hit anything. All right, on the green. Still can't find that rule. The rules are what they used to be. Oh, you're hard. looking at the rule? Yeah. It's 5.3A. It is? Yep. Yeah. All right, this is your fifth shot into the par five from trying to get it into 10 feet. That's all we want to do. Get it inside of 10 feet. Just flared it out. Flared it out. All right, putting contest time. Five point what? Three A is what Dauber said. Yeah, I know it's early in the book. All right, thirty-two feet uphill and downhill. Little double breaker. Ooh, just a little short. That was right on line. All right, so I'm in for a par. All right, then I have to make this, I, I believe. I think you got to make this. Yes, yeah, so you make this for half. 32 feet? It would be, without question, the longest putt I've ever made. Yeah. Flat putt. Yeah. And he doesn't even hit it. All right, back to even. Uh -huh. You got another hole, yeah. Damn. I like this course, though. It is uh, challenging. These narrow fairways are not friendly. All right, aim at this bunker. Let the wind take it to the left. Disqualification. He's correct. We're hoping we can find that you were wrong, Dauber, but unfortunately, you seem to have correctly read the rules. That was not exactly what I'm trying to do there. Yeah. Driver is just killing me today. That's two of us. Hey, three short hole, right? I'm hitting three wood. I gotta, I gotta win a hole. I gotta win the match. I think we went to even after the last time. I think we. Look at this, three wood right down the middle. I'm still up though. Yeah. One. Thirteen. A little bit of room.
Green. All right, 80 yards out of the junk, 11 mile an hour wind right to left. Just gets it on. How oh, is putting? The dreaded putting. And I don't, I think, honestly, I've had really good straight putts all day. I haven't had any really tough putts. You know? Wow, you just got to get that alignment figured out. thing yeah good all in good all not a bad part good speed yeah what are you in for there you know what i'm not sure all right we're gonna have to double check so this is for... uh well i was on two right yep Four. all right so i need this birdie for a half 60 feet Oh, and he, oh, it catches the lip at the last second. Wow. Just sting. Yes. Sting. Look at, is this just an incredibly narrow? Okay, that's just the Hogan Valley to this fairway. People at home are asking, when will I stop hitting this driver into the garbage and hit something else? But you don't have your three wood, right? I have it. It's right there. Yeah, it's fine. Do you want to hit it? I'm, I'm going to hit it on this one just because let's see what happens. <laughs> we don't want it going through the screen, though. Oh, the, the head's not going to come off. It's oh. just the, this little adjustment the, the hosel 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 slides hosel. around. Got it. You could probably put Gorilla Glue on it to fix it. That's not good. Yeah, something about it feels weird. Probably need to get that fixed. Is Roger Dunn even open right now? I have no idea. Probably. I mean, to, for people to come in, you know. Probably. Open door. Oh, he follows me. I'm further right than you. Yeah. Neither of us in a good position on a short par four here. All right, I just want to get back into play, so whatever I need to aim at, yep. That's 60 yards. Uh, give me like 120 or so. Well, 120 is the most narrow point you can possibly aim at. So right there, you, yeah. right. right there is good. Okay. That's the problem, is you, you can't get it in the air out of that stuff. You can't carry it. All right, where am I? 185. I have, I mean, no options other than to try to carry at least 132. It's 185. I'm going to hit a two iron.
You were where, Dauber? In, in Ireland, in the uh, deep rough? Was Dauber back? I don't know, he's still here. He said he was leaving, but... I thought he was just teasing us to see if we are going to talk to Mac about him. Well, you caught that one. Oh, does he... Skip. Oh! oh even the regular... I did make it. The regular rough, not the deep rough. All right, what do I got? 31 out of the junk. Oh, he was there at Roger Don a couple days ago. He was? Yeah. So they are open. He could have just been standing outside, pressing his face against the glass. Like, Please let me in. Oh, just doesn't stop. Pretty good, though. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, so I just... Please let me in. I have a ton of script I need to use. All right, 60 yards. I mean, I went to Home Depot today, and they don't even... There's no line anymore. It's just, come on in, you know? But everybody, I will say, every single person in there had a mask. Mm -hmm. Oh, did we want to talk about our new favorite license plate? <laughs> I'll let you... Uh, we saw it yesterday. Sure. You caught, it caught your attention, but... Uh, Driving home from golf yesterday on the 101. Oh, get in. Get in. Nice. Okay. Mr. Auto putt. Uh, I will say I have not had a lot of putts today, so that saved me from this horrible driving round. Strokes gained off the tee is like negative 20. Hey, this is a tough chip, 22. All right, this is, you need to get up and down for a half. Oh. I'll be putting. All right. So what eight, does the plate say, though? Not, so, not frame, plate. Right. The actual license plate was a custom plate that said, WOW USA. Yeah, that's right. W-O-W -W space USA. And the frame was an American flag that said, bring back public hangings. That's quite the opinion. Yeah, he was proud, too. He was pretty happy about that, I think. All right, let's double check where we're, where the match is. We're here. starting to get down to the, oh, look at yeah, that. We're on 16. Holy you got cow. a bit of a forced carry. Yet another narrow, narrow fairway, a little left to right dog leg. You got some pot bunkers on the right corner. 400 yards. It's not short. All right, scorecard right. here. So we went into the back. I believe I was up one. Let's, Let's double check. Double everything. check. So half, half. I'm up one. I'm up two. I'm up two. I'm up three. I'm up two. Two. I'm up t one. I'm up one. Okay. Okay. So Are then I'm no, I'm down I get, one. I get a pop. Right. So I'm da I lost the hole. Yeah. So all right, even. Yeah, yeah, even. Then that's Plus you. One. You're up one. Then we're even. Then I'm up one, then okay. I'm up one, oh. then I'm up two. Okay, so I got it. Up two, three to play. Let's go. Let's go. I hit this. This is narrow. Yeah. What a tight hole. Careful. True that. I don't think I'll be hitting drive. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get my driver together for the last couple holes here. Nope. Is it far enough though that it might? <laughs> far enough that it might do Oh, oh sit down. <sighs> All right, I just gotta get a ball and play off the tee. You're giving me a chance here. That was left arm is doing something funky. Uh, 
Alright, get one in play. the best shots of the day. Oh, nice. It's probably still up. Who air horned me? It's a secret. It's an anonymous oh, air. Alright. 182. A little uphill. A little wind. Mountain shot. This is the match right here as far as I'm concerned. This. Yeah, I think if you put this on the green... This is big. What do we say? I'm up, up three? Now up one, two? I've already forgotten what we just talked about. Up one, I think. I can pot it funky, but get up. Oh, it's just Stay out of navigating, no, no. navigating the bunker is like professional. Huh. I feel I think I got a little advantage. You think? Yeah. 117, uphill, winds right to left. Got to get it over this junk. Ah, is a pitching wedge enough? Well, listen, that's K-Rob. K-Rob is a very Euro pop kind of person. All right, I got to hit this pitching wedge about as hard as I can hit a pitching wedge. Oh my gosh. Get into the short. Wow. Gonna make something happen here. Forty yards out of the deep grass, not a lot of green to work with. It's gonna be possible to get a lot of spin on this shot. Not bad. Yeah, that's about as good as I could hope to do from there. The chipping lesson. Does the chipping lesson come back to bite? Sit down. Oh no. Ooh, I thought you were gonna get that. I did too. I thought that was a good chip. I'm Just off the green on now, the fringe. right? Yeah. You do you have putting line, so you are good to go if you want to putt it. Yeah. What am I doing at putting? Well, you know what? What does Tom Watson say? Whenever you can. Putt. Even if you're Biff Malibu. Even Biff can make one once in a while. All right, it's a relatively flat, straight putt. Oh. All right, my speed's getting better. Yes, your speed is pretty good. Other than the, what, one or two you hit too far? Yeah. All right. In for a five. I think it's serviceable. I, I gotta make this for a half. But you've been putting well today. Yes. Oh, what happened here? The music is so Euro pop of you. 
stream still up? Alright. My little monitor went off there. Alright. 13 feet, 7 inches, a little downhill. Somebody in the crew is going to get fired for that. I just want to call that out. Oh, oh hell. You pulled a bit Malibu. Inside of 10, but I pulled it more than more than hammer. But you knew you had to make it. You had to get it there. All right, so you win that one. So is it even now with two to play? I think so. I feel like we discussed this, and then I immediately discarded yeah. the information out of my brain. We got a par three. We'll figure it out at the end. Double check the score yeah. one more time. So we went into the back. I was up one. Correct. All right, so then I was even. I was down one, even. Up one, even. No, yeah, even. No, no they stayed up one. Up stayed one. up one. Up two, up one. Okay, I'm up one. Up one, two to play. Two to play. One ninety-three. So what typically happens in this scenario? Malibu wilts like a sunflower in the desert. This is big right now. All right. What do you got there? I got a five iron. A little bit of wind, but really nothing too crazy. I feel like the wind, this you know, 10 mile an hour left to right wind has acted like 20 yeah. mile an hour left to right wind. So I'm aiming at the flag, the wind can take it back to the middle of the green. Ball on the green can be death sentence for me. That could be it. Is it a little left? Oh, it's great. That's what I wanted to do. This is tough. Two okay. All right, that's that's the best shot I've hit today. That is okay. Biff needs to find a way to get on the green here. He has to. He has to. Or at to least close green. enough to get up and down. So I don't think a four is going to do it. Nope. Good strike. Oh man, he, is he gonna stay on? Yes, he found enough of the green. Gonna have a little downhill right to left slider, but he's on the green in one. Wow. The tide has just changed. If you can actually put this inside of 10 feet or let alone make this putt, that puts all the pressure on me. Then we go to 18, don't we? For sure, oh yeah. If you. Okay. If you two putt, we're going to 18. It'll be 10 one, inches downhill. One putt, we're going to 18, tied up. Is that going to go left? Oh, he's inside of 10 feet. Woo! <sighs> <laughs> oh. It looked questionable when he hit did it. did for a minute. I thought it was going to break left. It you think, never came back. You started it to outside the break. All right, so I got a 16-footer for a half to yep. stay one up going into 18. If I miss this, we go in tied up. The big putt. Oh, he hit through the break. Never broke. Oh. <laughs> I thought I barely hit it. Oh, it's a whole new ball game. All tied up. Let's see, though. It's going to be favoring you with the big stick, I'm sure. Finisher. Have you seen me hit the driver today? Yeah. That's quite oh, the, the eye, First view of the ocean on the right side. Look at that. All right, here we go. 18, pin front left. A lot of left to right dog legs. I there feel like is. if my driver was working, I'd like this course a lot more. All right, wind is going right to left. So if I hit my putt, the wind will hold it up, which is good. Okay. All right, one good swing, come on. Ah, that is so bad. Sit down. 
Okay, Malibu's just going to get a ball and play. Going three wood. His old friend. All he's got to do is put the ball in play. Stats not going to be good for me today. Huh? Fairways and regulation. Give me a break. No. Nope. Give me oh, a break. Not oh, today. all right. It's going to be the battle of the hackers out of the junk. Back to even here, basically. All right, so you don't have to hit it too far to get back into the fairway. That's all I want to do. Just want to get it back. Okay. But I just want to get wherever I can hit it 100. I don't, I don't want to mess with this so I'm I'm good with a 60 yard shot you want 60 yards 60 whatever I can get and not mess with a bunker all right so 60 yards is yeah anywhere like between the two that's perfect All right, so he's using his stroke to get back to the middle of the fairway. Probably the smart thing to do. <sighs> On the other hand, I'm over here in the deep junk. 162 to the flag. I gotta carry this thing. Decent ways to get out of the junk. Five iron, right side of the green. Try to get it out of this crap. Oh, that came out very well. And... Oh. I got, I have room to get this one out on the green. Oh. That thing came out well, though. Yeah. Just too much. Too much. Hey, Crab Job finally made it on the 18th hole. Composer of the soundtrack of today's stream. Crab, which, which track do you recommend as we finish the 18th hole here? This is a big shot for no. Biff, but he found the pot bunker. That is yeah. worst case scenario. Yeah. Uh, worst case scenario for Biff Malibu. Uh, Puts it into the pot bunker. All right, I'm 40 yards out, but I have a stance here and I have some room to get over this lip. So I just need to put this on the green, put this match to bed. Open the face up here. Oh, a little dicey. A little dicey. Actually, I'm gonna keep this because I probably need it. All right, so Krob is calling the uh, sharks left. Here we go. I've heard this one a couple times today. This one's got a nice little flow to it. Okay. All right, so you can try to pop this up over the lip here, or do you want to? Yep, I'm gonna try to get it out. All right, this is the, this is an incredibly difficult shot. Hey, okay. can't get it up quick enough. But now I have a little room, right? 
Yeah, a little more room here. You still got to open that face up. Get, get the ball on the front foot, weight forward. Yeah, he's just playing ping pong in the pot bunker. I'm gonna aim you out to the right so you can get this out, or uh, we're we're tin cupping it. Tin cupping it the whole way. Give me the sixty degree. Uh. <laughs> and he's out. Just brutal. The pot bunkers of Port Monarch have struck. Finally claimed another victim. That was not nice. Port Monarch pot bunkers. It's tough to say. That was brutal. Yeah, you brought it to the 18th hole, and then the gave it all away. Bunker gotcha. Had no business being anywhere near that bunker. Oh, is it still you? You are on the green. To add insult to injury, so now the, I'll make a long To putt. keep it under a 10. Spicy. Uh, wants to see me cut some more. <laughs> All right, twenty feet. Just a little chip here. Oh! Oh, and gotta gotta see a putt. I got like six putts to win. I think you could putt blindfold it probably. <laughs> All right, eleven feet, eight inches. We we'll just do this one looking right at the camera. Ah. All right. Yeah, unfortunately for you, I the, saw that movie Tread the other night. So now I've got all kinds of things <laughs> going through my mind. You got a new project in the in the garage? Oh, did I make yours? Must well, have make, finish, that. finish. Yeah, go ahead, finish it off for me. I, you know, I could like cut this all the way past the screen you into could. the bunker. Or make it. See, you're, you're much better when you're putting as me. Right? All right, well. Good match, came right down to the end. Exciting. One one hole, one pot bunker with, look at the scorecard there, the 11. But you know what, it looks like my real score yesterday. I think I had 98 yesterday. Yeah. So I'm consistent. 99. Nothing else. I mean, you should have shot, what, seven, six or seven shots better yeah. than that last one. Still 90. But uh, I win the match on the last hole. And my chipping's improved. Shipping is much improved. The lesson paid off. The bill will be in the mail. So, uh, everybody else, thanks for watching. We'll be back on Tuesday evening with a to be determined guest. Uh, then we're back Thursday and Sunday uh, with guests who I will post on the schedule. Thanks, guys. Take care. Everybody, have a good one. See ya. Stay safe, stay healthy.